Hello. I think we're live now. <laughs> Not much to look at here. Let's go to my uh, channel. Eh? Okay. Videos. We'll just sit here and watch my videos together. How about that? I'm pretty sure we're going live. Yeah. Okay, well. Welcome. I'm a little early. I'm like that, though. I'm not wanting to make people wait. So. Oh, good. That's hiding. It's actually hiding the OBS. Which I did get working. That's good. It wasn't that hard, actually. I was really, th I was thinking I was going to have to use Filmora. And I've been, um, I've been using Filmora since, uh, oh, about three months now. It's really great. Before that, I was using something called Movie Edit Pro, which I got into around 2014. And I'm just a loyal guy, you know. But, um, yeah, I didn't have to, well, for more, by the way, is, is really good. They're kind of a not, I, I can't say I love the company, but whoever's developing that software is really good. Yeah. So, if I get anybody here, that'll be great. Otherwise, what I'm going to do, what is that guy, what's that trying to do? Otherwise, what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of photo editing. I might just start that now. Let's go get Photoshop going. Yeah, so I got Photoshop installed on this uh, machine. Uh, well, when I say work, I mean my, my studio at the Quarry Art Center. This is my home studio. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, well, if we get anyone in this chat, which is exactly three now, so it would be exactly five. Well, it was a little confusing on my uh, my deal, but I'm just going to do some editing. Because, uh, you know, what does have value for you all? So, oh, we see me. Okay, that's a big window. It doesn't have to be so big. Can't we make me smaller? Can't we crop it? I, I'm a bit zoomed out. I could Hi, some... I'm Anna McNaught. What? No, I don't want that. Go. I agree. So this is what you see and mm, this is a fresh install. Yeah, that's fine. I know how to use it. Good. No, I don't want. I don't want you. What I want is I've collected some images here. Now these are all based on photos I take. By the way, if you're in Windows, you know you can right-click in any folder, and you get a view thing. You can get these extra large icons, which are handy. Now these all have some issues. Um, I've made a painting out of it. Let's do this one. I've made a painting out of this. It was back like, <laughs> like 2012. I do have the chat thing going. So if I see anyone here, I'll say hi to you. Okay, what's wrong? Yeah, I don't want you there. I want you down here. So what's, what's cool about this? Hopefully you can see my, um, cursor. Yeah, okay. What's cool about this is these trees. Then there's like two things that are not very cool. One is this uh, big straight line here. And then obviously the whole bottom of it is like just boring old grass. So I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, so before we had all this um, AI stuff, we just had good old... Um, spot healing brush now you got the uh, spot healing brush then you got the healing brush the healing brush works more like the old uh, the old rubber stamp tool 
Now I like to right click in the image and then I get this menu and I adjust my sizes there. Some people like to use little bracket dealies and so many fences out here in New Zealand. They just love their fences. Now I guess they got to keep the cows from walking around. That looks like that. I'm wondering if that was a cow back there, but it's not. Okay. Yeah. So before we get too busy, by the way, I zoom in and zoom out using control plus and minus keys. A good thing to do, like one of the first, this is 8 by 12 or golden mean. This is the proportions that um, images come out of a 35 millimeter camera. Uh, and I like that just for in general. So I'm going to stick to uh, under ratio here. I'm going to stick to original ratio. So uh, I'm going to crop. We don't need all that room above the trees. Mm, maybe I will. You know what I need is I need some 8x10s. I'm going to go 8x10. 8x10. Mm. Is it can be real challenging with your horizontals. I've done so many bad paintings. Many of which are still on the channel. You can get you can get in there. You can see them. Even more so. Actually more than the channel. Oh, that's tight. Uh, only if I... So you'll see me closing one eye. That's what I do when I'm trying to figure things out. Now, I'd like this other tree. That's just barely... I guess it's alright. We're going to do a lot with the AI on this one. Oh, I know. Okay, so, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, very handy, actually. Because I'm going to want more grass down here. So, um, delete crop pixels. Fill with generative uh, expand. What it'll do is it'll just generate some grass there. I think that crop is pretty good. So, what am I looking at? I'm looking at this space here. It feels okay. I really want a payoff here. And I don't love what's there. But I was... I was wondering about whether if I could just, uh, you know, put in distant hills with a lake, something like that. We're going to see what it comes up with. I'm going to let it go a little bit wild. Just experiment on your time. And this, of course, will go out live to, uh, you know, I mean, it'll go out on the channel, I think. I know I don't want your videos I, okay so these very what are you doing please stop okay. so you go to the properties palette where are you there you are I've got this this silly thing no I don't want your video thank you goodbye I will I'll do that cancel so where did the properties palette go this is not even a broken uh, copy of oh huh huh it's appearing I just can't find it Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. It just looks weird because it's a tiny stripe of grass. That's fine. So it comes up on the layer. Uh, I go control E. Okay, that's our basic crop. Yeah. Now it's 8 by 10. The optimum? No, no. 8, 8, 8 by 10 is way more optimal for. Okay, I'm going to just move you here. So you can get your little frequently used items on this bar here. Yeah, I don't want to browse your libraries. Thank you. You're being really helpful. Thanks. 
I'm going to explore business libraries. All right. So what do you want to do first? Uh, okay. We're going to... Um, okay. We're just going to make a rectangular selection. Now, the generative fill, if you just want to, like, say I want to remove those lines from the overhead, uh, uh, you know, telephone lines or whatever, um, you could you could just select that and it would just fill it with sky. But here I'm going to say um, field with weeds. and dirt path so you got to be careful with this uh, i'm sure it'll get better i hope it does um you gotta be careful with it because are you doing anything what do you got I think I messed up. I don't think I actually generated it. I know I didn't. Alright, I gotta get rid of this. I don't care about your libraries. As far as adjustments go, I will make you a little thingy there. What I do care about is layers. Uh, that's right. I'm just getting set up on your time. We're just visiting. If I see someone come up, I will have a chat. I had no idea what would be a good time to do this. So that would be great to get inputs. Especially if you're watching this uh, after the fact. Okay, let's try that again. Field. with um, I think instead of weeds I'm going to go path I, I do know it tends to do better with less so let's just go let's try that he's going live he's going live 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 Sometimes it takes more time. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not what I want, but it ain't bad. Oh, oh it's always doing this. So it's giving me. Yeah, no, okay, forget this. this. Yeah, you can't do both same time. You got to do one then the other. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Now, while we're doing this here, you might go, oh, I don't care about Photoshop, Mike. Let's go back to Field with Weeds. And then what we'll do is we'll cut a path in it. Now, there's a lot of videos like this in the members area. Not tons. I, I, I know that. Oh, come on. We'll hop on. You didn't like my prompt. Did I misspell? I don't spell very well with weeds. Looks like it's doing something. Okay. I, I it has a problem. Maybe with the word weeds. You know what's good about this? I can barely see my face. You know, we don't need to bray either. Here we go. 
look, just shaved my head. That's a nice look, eh? That's a great look. Ah, I did something. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, that is just awful. This isn't doing a good job. Oh, I'm going to pause my live stream, but you guys are just going to see me suffer. So, okay. Did I get... Oh, this one's got some grass on it. Yeah, okay. Another one of my photos. I mean, at least that's... That's like a field. I mean, it couldn't have given me... It, it would have been nice if it gave me something even that nice. What else we got? Oh. <laughs> no. No. Let's go with this one. We're going to go... We're going to do it live. You I'm going to delete because they're terrible. Now I can probably... Oh, let's just go control T. Oh, I see what's up. All right. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, good. Well, here we go. We're just going to put a mask on you. I think these are great. They've got these about... You know, way Hello. Oh, watch my struggle hey Uh, you'll see me do that all the time because they changed it, right? Oh, this is not very nice. This one sucks. I'm going to have to do better. Um, boom, 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 boom. We're going to rasterize this. Guys, I want to start making adjustments. Hello. No, I think it's real. Oh, well, mm -hmm. okay. And that's, uh, I, I don't know what that's doing, but I'll bring that down until we see a little fringe. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but it ain't bad. So, and okay, this is the thing I want to point out is that I'm going to be using my, I'm going to be making a painting. I'm going to be using my imagination. Ain't no question about that. Uh, one thing, uh, so, but I still think it's helpful to really try and make your reference cool. It's a big, big, uh, big thing I do. Sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes it doesn't take much time. See, this is corn. I think this is corn. This is a picture I took out here a long time ago. All right, that's way better than the grass that was there. So we're 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 doing okay. Now I would like to replace. This I want. I'm going to get a little creative here. Hopefully, you're not going to let us down. Because Adobe, you could be making customers right now. You could be making customers. Okay. Oh, I'm going to say I want a... Um, I 
that could be two different things. I'm thinking one thing. Distant. Lake. With. Hills. Now it's got some stuff to refer to in here. Let's see what you do. Distant lake with hills. Generate. I love this thing. I'm not telling you, I've been so mad at Adobe ever since they um, they did away with the, the flat fee and they charged me every month. And, you know, they went from a company of struggling to like multi-zillion, gazillion dollar doing very well. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I mean, that is actually not bad back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I see a problem with my selection, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna redo my selection. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna keep that because I I know it, none of those are gonna work. But they're what I want. Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing? Uh, let's just get rid of a lot of this. It it, it resolves things for you. So, I've been medicine with my reference as long as I've been uh, doing this. A little bit sometimes, or a lot of it sometimes. But the number one challenge I've always had is like having super like cool trees, but the scene around it isn't that great. And with this Adobe, that's a game changer. That's a game changer. It's going to add up to better paintings. That one's lame. Sort of interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, well, what do you expect, Mike? I actually preferred all of those last ones to this, so. They're still there. I think they're still there. Let's go to the. See, they're still there. These were nicer. I can. These were better. Look at that one, so much better just talking about the distant hills and things those are better oh. now I like that one but I also like that one so I'm gonna show you what I do are you ready I wish you would stop moving around just stay put okay I like that so you can duplicate it Well, I had this variation, but what did I like about this one was I liked that. I kind of like that, but you know, I like this bit sticking in the water there. So what I'm going to do is rasterize now. I get that by right clicking on that. I'm going to rasterize this one. The no longer generative. Um, and you can hide these I like I want this one I think over the top hello get a brush make it a big big brush if you have dark here when you work in these layers that's interesting it gave me the same hills is the top one okay so here let's just try a little move like darken I'm in the <laughs> stop Hello. you want to 
to be in that. I want this opened up. Forgive me because my keyboard, they give you this ever so handy thing that's not for actual. Okay, so if you're a professional graphic uh, person, you're learning keystrokes, okay? Because you are doing the same things all day long. Right, zoom out. So where they have the control. I do like that. I think that's wow. Okay, um, before we get rid of it altogether, that's what we had, which is a dead end. This gives us a place to go. Now we have we have lots more problems, but would you stop? Thank you. Let's start with this. I'm just going to merge all this flat. Now, that's the old spot healing brush tool. Yeah, I was thinking. You're not doing a very good job for me. But when it lets you down, the generative fill is nice. And if you just want it to work with what's there, you don't type anything in the prompt. So we're going to get to a point where it's really just the trees. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to circle this, this area in here and see what it comes up with. There, which is the dressing. See, that's not too bad. That's basically what I was trying to do. So that's good. That's Control E, Control minus. Now yeah, I really, really don't like this here. I kind of like it, but let's just see um, what we can do. Uh, we're, we're still going to try for a path as well. Let's just see what it does. on its own it would be a little better I'm, I'm loving this with this in place I feel like I could make a painting that's not too bad that actually works well. I like that. That that we don't question that. Hello, little Alfie Puffy. You want to say hello to the internet? That's Alfie. That is Alfie. That is Yeah, I like that. We're going to merge down. <clears throat> okay. I'm liking this. This is looking cool. I mean, we have issues. We do. This is an issue. This whole area here. I'm, I'm sort of inclined to kind of see what it comes up with. I kind of like it, though. Maybe I like those grasses. I just sort of feel like stuff here is a little weird. What I like about this tool is it can surprise you pleasantly. You know, just come up with something else. And it's not unlike the uh, spot healing tool or the spot filling um, uh, tool, which is, it just samples things from within that same image. All right, 
so what I think we'll do is we'll just we'll basically just edit this image um, I'll let it be on the interwebs Oh, I'm get my check from Adobe. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. I think that will work fine. That'll work fine. Goodbye. This is what's brilliant. Like, this Adobe stuff, man. I don't know if it's good enough for, you know, if you're a photographer. I'm sure you'd find uses. These are weird. Just a bit of a right click there. So, one of the main things that you can do to improve your paintings is learn Photoshop. Does that sound counterintuitive? Well, you, uh, um, what the masters did was they went outdoors and they sketched and sketched and sketched. Okay, so ideally I would like a path. I think this works better. Path. It might make it cement. It likes to do that. I want a dirt path, but I've learned my lesson. it wasn't so skinny there give me a cow thank you for that this one's not skinny that one's better let's try something here certainly doesn't get better as it gets wider does it let's escape I think we got to go with that one we're just gonna go with it control E so uh, maybe you haven't picked up on this but one of my favorite yeah hold on I'm not so crazy about that I want to try again I need that path going I think a different what's a different direction if I can get it to do it so so but it really like took it took a lot from my the the selection i'll try it again and that was just path and that was good like i say dirt path it just goes the thing is um about the um Generative fill is it doesn't really do better with more information, more. Um, it tends to do worse. Gosh, I really like those hills back there. I've got something now. I have to say that I've had to, every place I've done, and I've, I've been, you know, path junkie ever since I got this because I've always been, oh, come on now, that's not right. That's kind of what I wanted, and that is lame. So you can actually generate again. This will probably not work out for my favor, but so you can use the same prompt, or you can leave those other options in there. Now, one thing we've got to do while we're waiting here is this. We have to put something here. We could try some bushes or something, or we could just make it darker with a vignette, which is probably what I'll do. But since we're going nuts with the generative, um, uh, that's exactly what I want, except it's a road. I can use it though. I can use it. I'm going to. So, what I'm going to do here is just bounce it down into uh, 
its own layer. That's exactly the direction and everything I wanted. Uh, I can easily, because it's on its own layer, I can easily get rid of this. What are you doing? Well, I tell you this, um, and this also would go better with the. Uh, oh, it's got random, um, random um, shadows from some place that it got this. does feel a bit cut out but I'm liking it so what am I gonna do all right I'm glad you asked so I'm saying so a lot uh, we're gonna click here just grab that gray now two things you can do you can click again or you can drag the fuzziness I'm going to just click again as it's, it's selected the whole picture. But now what we do is we use this tool and we hold the Alt and the Control key. Or is it Shift Alt Control? It is Alt and Shift. Sorry. A little rusty. Okay, but check it out. We'll hide the marching ants. And um, now it's gray. So let's just use, uh, I like color balances, but my first go-to, like make it more red, make it more yellow, make it more yellow, uh, it's kind of like super chromatic dirt. I think if we combine that with lighter. Just get the uh, levels here. Uh, I got a plan too. Got a plan. I'm gonna take down some of this brightness on the bottom. Get a little progression. You really want to some a lot of the moves, man. Uh, so I'm just using my mouse here, and that's one thing I've been doing. Like I have a, um, I like that actually. I think that looks pretty good. A little fake. Let's go ahead and just merge all this down. Control E. Uh, Control Shift E. Thank you. Um, some of the stuff that looks like these edges look a little weird. Like it just chunked it out. Oh, I see. It's putting a little shadow. That it does match the light. Oh, that's a little shadow. Mm. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, so what we can do there, we'll just get rid of it with the. Uh, this is the dodge tool, but we'll use it on shadows. Just lighten that shadow a little bit. That doesn't look good at all. It just went totally blue, so I'm going to get the brush tool. I'm going to create a quick little layer. I'm going to convert the layer to color. I'm going to color that. I'm actually real happy with this path. It's a little bit clean, but you know, we're talking about um, we're talking about painting reference here. So that's actually looking pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, looking quite awesome. Quite awesome indeed. Just for giggles, we'll try some foreground bushes. I'm actually going to try typing uh, not that much. 
What are you, Jerry? Are you down there? Hello. Bush is in shadow. Now, so all of this is going to add up to a really uh, better painting, but painting is still really hard. And uh, I don't see anybody here today, but uh, my video courses are up and I was hoping to lay some uh, discount codes on people here. But uh, that's good because I promised the mailing list people they were going to be first stock. <laughs> That's what I want. I just wanted a lot bigger. Uh, okay, forget the shadow. It didn't even take that into account. Bushes. I'm going to try it. I, I'm learning the foreground. Foreground bushes. Maybe it'll figure it out. Because if you're going to do like foreground bushes, you would have those in shadow, typically. I mean, that's kind of okay, sort of. In a lot of ways, I'd be better just, uh, you'll see, we'll just do a little vignette. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to get my wife to come get the dog, take him for a walk. scraggly brush oh come on actually that's not too bad I think I can make that work let's, let's just make it wider it's kind of nice there's something there instead of nothing so I'm just going to go with it control E okay why I'll tell you why we got we got to block the eye. We we don't want that uh, just sitting out there. And we will do some vignetting, but we're gonna go ahead and um, swap out the sky first. Now this scene is not sunsetty, so that will be out. Oh, uh, you can yep. go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I know this will be helpful to a few people and the members, uh, it's just been a few members that have taken advantage of it, but, um, might, might just if it the way I operate I'll tell you if it just if it just helps one person I'm okay so one other thing I like to do is do some liquefy but uh, this is like a bit weird I just I don't like okay here's a you know if you've been sitting through this whole thing waiting for a tip I've said this in video after video, and I've said this to every single student I've had. I'm just, my ears are clean. I think they are. Uh, don't put things in your painting where people ask questions. Like, I'm looking at that bit I have circled, and I'm just going to see what else it comes up with. Because I'm asking questions like, what is that, a mountain there? A little, not a mountain, but a race? That's, see, we're not asking questions now. We don't need to. I like that first option. Now we still have the shadow, but we can get rid of that. Way better. So hopefully another thing I, I hope you're learning is that it's like don't settle. You know, keep keep moving forward because the better you make this, the better you know, I might end up spending more time on this than I did on the painting, depending on the size I paint it. Okay, now I'm trying to go quick for you. Um, 
I actually don't mind this strong vertical here. I will probably vary this uh, when I'm painting. I'm not going to worry about that now. We turned corn into grasses, and I think that's working. So we're going to go here. This is an excellent feature in Photoshop. One of the things that I was really loving them, really loving them for, before the AI came around. Oh. Hopefully you can see how that path in there. It's computing. I think it's computing. Is it computing? Yeah, this is not as quick as my desktop computer. But, and actually this is a super high res image too. I forgot to mention. I probably should have sampled down. Oh, well, I may do that. Yeah, it's chewing on it. It's going. <laughs> oh, all their skies are lame. Oh, is that their sky? I was wondering. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. But I don't want a sunset. You notice how it makes things dark. So here we're going to go click on plus. Now, normally I would have a little backlog of, um, of things. Okay, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to view and I want extra large icons and we can make this bigger. I know I'm looking for blue sky. I'm looking for light coming from. From our right. One thing it doesn't do, which is annoying, is. Um, it's just, it's just not going to work. Uh, and that's the thing I got to say. I can spend, and I'm not going to, don't worry. But I could spend a long time looking for a good sky. These are skies I've collected. I really like this one. I'm going to have to flip it though. You'll see. I'm not. Uh, I'm not tight with the knowledge here. I've been swapping skies. I have my own I have my own recipes. I've just been sitting here waiting for something I shouldn't be waiting because it's waiting for me to do something. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? These kinds of skies can be a real challenge. I don't want a blue sky. It's got a kind of has some interest in that area, this area. I think I want a blue sky. Because the sunset, the scene doesn't look like a sunset kind of thing. Ooh, this chunk could work, but that won't work. I'm sorry. Now, I used to live up on the top of a hill, and that's when I took most of these pictures. Oh, I've done this one a lot. I already know you're not going to come in unless I click on you. That could work. Now, so things I'll try. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that could work. That could work. I don't like how there's a bunch of nothing up here, but let's try a little scaling. And typically it will bring it in until it hits like a ridge or something. But what I like is like I wanted some interest here and now I have it. And you'll see we're going to really bring it on home. Bring it on home. We don't need that much scaling. Um, sometimes the best way is just click in the thing and use your mouse wheel. That's actually pretty groovy. So... Now it's really a vanilla sky. I, I don't, but we, we'll do some things to it. But let's show you something. So you click here, you click control, and you make a selection. Then you go up here to uh, uh, just make a layer. And then we're going to get the gradient. Now they, in their infinite wisdom, uh, um, change the gradients to something I don't want. It does a lot of really cool stuff, so I'm not dissing it. 
but where's my basics 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 is what I want there one color into transparent is what I want and I will pull it from the bottom and I will hold shift see what I'm saying see what I'm saying see what I'm saying uh, let's go control H so that's a little much but now we don't have problems with that hill and you you almost always want to do this look how natural that looks and feels great okay I'm gonna do a little more work here I'm gonna go control T I want to bring that down a little. I'm going to hold down shift. Just a little. Also, this feels like I want it straight. And lots of times you can change things in the clouds. Like that. Want that straight. Want that lower. Uh, and you be my. You, well, you will. You will see me do a painting from this because this is exactly the kind of thing I want to do. So we are getting close. Now, one thing I won't be able to do, I don't think I put, I do like that better. Yeah, I don't know what that straight bit. That's kind of good. definitely better than the sky I had you gotta admit so last bit coloration now a lot of times if I was going with a sunset like this is I mean I can make a painting from this but it's really very vanilla so control shift D one thing I do is I just go control shift D I just make everything flat um, it's nice to have options up to a point uh, if you get too too carried away then you can't you get immobilized you can't work um, so one other thing I'm going to do, I don't want to go flat here, I want to go a little taller because of the tendency of the 8x10 to make things feel squat. I think that's better. Let's go control Z. Yeah, I don't know if that's, maybe not that, maybe it went too far. There we go. I like that. Now I'll flatten it. We're getting close, folks, which is good because I'm getting hungry. I want to eat. This I will open up when I'm doing the painting. That has like this, I'm trying to use my hand, it has like this round feeling, which I don't like. Um, but um, I'm, I'm tempted to try and fix it with liquefy, but I know that it would be very difficult because. Oh, we got stuff there. Actually, I can see I got there's some random stuff there. Left over from the tree. You're not doing well. Well, we could see what it does. You want to? I mean, I want it opened up. Maybe it will. Maybe it will do that for me. Sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. Well, I love those hills I put in. Not so great. You gotta have something people can go to. You can't just have things like plop. And this is why I wanted to talk about composition, you know. Um, but every every scene's different too. So, but uh, oh, weird. Which is giving me a higher. Uh, weird weird oh what I wanted thank you I mean this is still a little tall here but good enough I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a painting here I don't need this I oh, that's so much better opened up thank you Photoshop okay so let's talk about colorization uh, I don't think I got a chance to put it no I didn't did I install it did I download it Nick no I was right on the cusp 
So I like the Nick filters, but we'll, um, you know what, let's, oh, I got a cheaty idea in mind. We can use, there's a couple different ways. We're just going to open up some of my, uh, these are um, paintings. And I kind of like that. You'll see what I'm up to. Nice painting, Mike. Very similar. That's an 8x10 as well. Uh, I think I know where that painting is. I'm trying to remember. It's not in the place it should be because it should have sold already. Um, that's good because that is the similar colors. Nice painting. Really happy with that. Uh, let's get something a little different. Why not? This. You'll see what I'm up to. The, It'll work anyway. Let's just try that. I don't want to take too much of your time. I gotta go. This is a new uh, thing in Photoshop. And it is called the Neural Filters. You don't want a treat. It's all right. I'm almost done. Just calm down. Lay down. I said lay down. Okay. You're waiting for something to happen. I know. Sorry. Now these you can actually minimize. They're just in the way. One dumb thing about this. Okay, thank you. Next. I don't want the tour. Next. Next. And thank you. Okay, I will say this. Best thing you do is always put it out in its own new layer. It gives you options. Let's get mixer as a joke. Don't waste your time. But color transfer. I don't know what this one does. Color. Harmonization. No, oh, I mean, oh. Forget it. I ain't gonna mess with it. I gotta download it because I'm just gonna custom. I know this works, so it can work. It'll take the colors from that image, put them on the other image. Oh, that is nothing to write home to mom about, but it is an improvement because we could just amp up the saturation. See what I'm saying? That ain't too bad. That's better than Green Town. Forget that. Let's go with a different image. That's that slice from the other image. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it keeps those settings. For the other one I think I'm just gonna start with that because I don't want to waste your time we have brought in some red and that's the main thing I wanted to do <laughs> that's OTT OTT I like that I don't like it but uh, I'll show you what I'm up to uh, no, it's, a, it's a OTT, it's over the top, but here we can just go, it's done a lot of things, but here we could just map the colors and then back off. I don't like how it's intensifying the sky. I don't love the colors in the sky. I want something different to happen there. I do feel like this is pretty interesting for our painting. See, I just took it out of green 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 land and now we're into something a little better as a matter of fact now back off of that about the 20 percent so next thing we're going to do you can go up here these is the same uh operation as the sky replacement option in the edit menu um except that you have some latitude and what i want to do is warm that up 
And I think I'm going to use um, I only selected the sky and I really like this lake too but I'm going to work with it. I use this all the time. It's called photo filter. It comes up with this orange which is useful. I like deep yellow. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to make that a little more red. You know, like a nut, like a nut. See, look, it's better, right? It's better. Yeah, it's better now, but we're going to come down here and we're going to just use some of this white uh, with the white tool selected and we're going to just add that to the colorization matrix. Whoa getting too technical you can see that's better though because it's not like that overly cool blue you want to stimulate yourself okay oh that's good I do like that and you know go a little lighter a little less I mean I like that okay that's control shift D time Now the darks took on a little too much darkness, so I'm gonna. Um, they're too much. They're too present. They're too punchy. I, I could use it. I can make this. I can make a painting from this. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. I don't want uh, to learn more. I want to take the blacks down. See what I'm saying there a little bit. It's like this yellow hue, 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 hue. I want to warm the whole thing up. <laughs> Saturation is off the top. Okay, Jerry. That's better. Um, and because it's all here, I can back off. Wow, I wonder what that'd be like if it was a full bomb. I mean, I'm just going to make for a better painting. So, last thing we're going to do. Uh, I really need more of this. I need it to go farther. See how it's feeling like a painting, right? Okay, we're gonna go Control Shift D. Last thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of creative vignetting. Now, when I do vignetting, uh, your push button stuff is not good. You want to do it by hand, and you want to just use black. You want to have your no, yes, that's fine, and I think that's fine. You want your opacity like set to next to nothing and you want a giant brush really giant giant with it set to nothing that's a little too giant that's a little too small see what i'm saying about that corner this one too really so i got the path to lead the eye in Oh, geez. You know what? I'm screwed up, though. Because you've got to do this on its own layer. <laughs> so I'll be putting up my regular video. My regular Sunday video will be up. And uh, this will be up too, so I don't know what to do with my, well, I don't care. I really don't. I mean, I like my videos to get viewed, but 
the end of the day I just do what I do that's really pretty good see how that's better now what we have done though is gone a little dark overall but we're gonna be making a final adjustment a little further these areas you don't want I darken them because I don't want people's eye going there I went a little too far no, that's too far that's good I like that okay we're gonna merge that down control E you know what I haven't even saved so fortunately we have a very solid computer here <laughs> oh and I accidentally saved over the top of my original image but I've got that somewhere else I don't care about that um okay so two things um i'm gonna just take the whole thing back a little bit you can see we lost our lightest lights check it out this is what i'm gonna do that has changed the um the layer there i'm gonna kick up the opacity here and I'm going to start pumping this up. That's where I want the, uh, that's really a lot too much. Can you go back and forth a little? I like that. Anywhere else you might want some more highlights. too far there I like it here that's a big payoff that little strip there Just a little more in the sky. I know I took I took it down. I'm gonna turn this opacity way down. Now I have a sky. I feel inspired to paint. I feel really inspired to paint this whole thing actually. So that's what we want. That's what we like. And yeah, thank you for joining me today. I'm Hoping next time I announce, uh, well, you know, if you watch this, um, let me know. Let me know what a better time might be for you. I mean, we all live all over the planet, but anyway, take good care. Stay out of trouble. Oops. Oh, okay. It wasn't saying that before, but now it is. Because I got a layer. Let's just see. I'm inspired to paint this. I'm gonna paint this probably next week. So all right. Take good care, stay out of trouble. Um hopefully this will be available to peeps on the internet.